Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon, okay? So today, what we are going to do is that I have actually handpicked a box of different, you know, animals, dinosaurs, and some transforming eggs figures to show you guys from my collection, okay? So today, we'll take a look at this box, which probably contains at least 100 to even 200, you know, different figures. After today's video, I'm going to show you guys like a quick tour of the basement Dino Dungeon, what you can expect from this shelf, okay? So let's begin, guys. Alright, guys, so let's have a look at this box. So previously, I have actually shown you guys quite a few of my transforming egg figures and I think that you guys actually love it. So this is actually, you know, one or two of them. It is a transforming lion. Yeah, I think these figures are really cute. I might get more to show you guys uh, maybe in future. We got this from like online store. It isn't like a particular brand to this. So it's quite a cute figure. So it's a lion. Here we have a bear, I think. Quite a cute little brown bear. So let's have a look at this. It's really cute and adorable. Yep. Next up. What is this? This is actually like a you know, mythical creature. It's not an actual animal, you can see. It actually has like a body. It looks like part lion, part eagle, with the wings of an eagle, the body of a lion, but of course you can see it has the claws, claws of an eagle. And the face is definitely the face of an eagle. Yeah, I think this is known as a griffin. It's like a mythical creature. And um, yeah, this is quite a very nice figure. Yep, you can see the paint paint scheme is actually pretty nice and you can see like very cool stuff on on its body as well okay very nice figure here we have a squid i'm not too sure why this is doing here i should probably probably put this back into my sea animals collection it comes with a movable part of the body right here and there's actually a scientific name written right below okay let's move on this is actually from Imagine Next, if I'm not wrong, and it is a Glossoraptor. It comes with a button. You press it, it will move. Very cute, I love it. Here is another dinosaur, and um, this is actually from uh, Recur, and this is an OV Raptor. OV Raptor basically means the egg stealer, all right? Here we have an elephant. I think this is like one of my very, very old childhood toy. Yeah, you can see this figure. It's not fantastic, but it's still very adorable and it has a very classic look and feel. Here, we have a great white shark. I think we have like two identical ones, which is why I've put one of them inside this box. Here, this is actually um, quite an old figure. Um, it's supposed to be an Allosaurus. I'm not exactly sure whether this is an authentic figure. It looks like a, you know, a bootleg figure. It's still a very nice one. Stegosaurus, a purple Stegosaurus. You can see it has like four spikes at the end of the tail. And all these plates on his body actually helps to regulate the body temperature. Let's move on and see what, are, what other animals we have. Oh, we actually have quite a nice polar bear right here. So I can definitely put this one back into our sea animals collection. Polar bear and I think this is from Wano. All right, let's move on. Let's try to find more animals animals first okay we do have one very adorable tiger right here and um, if i'm not wrong this is also from Reno. quite a nice tiger figure we have a seal yes um is this a hub seal i think so i think so oh we have a playmobil um animal i'm not too sure where is my playmobil animals collection i'll probably start like a new collection of um playmobil because i've uh, because I've actually placed an order for lots of new Playmobil figures, so stay tuned for that. There will be lots more coming up um, very soon. And um, this one, I think it's an Allosaurus. I'm not too sure. Uh, let me try to find the name. Yep, it is an Allosaurus. It doesn't look good, but it's definitely an Allosaurus. Okay, let's take a look at this. Wow, what is this? Adorable stuff. This is a hand puppet. And um, it is a Triceratops. Triceratops is basically a herbivorous dinosaur and is known as the um, three horn face. Very nice. Next up, um, 
I think this should be a Deinonychus. Let's have a look at the name written right below. Oh, it's a Velociraptor. Of course, you know, vel raptors and Deinonychus, they look very similar. So, you know, you tend to get, uh, get them mixed up. This is a very cute little Indominus Rex baby, I think. You know, in case that you guys do not know, what is an Indominus Rex? It is basically a hybrid dinosaur. What is this? It looks, it looks like a bird, but this is actually a prehistoric bird. Um, I think it's a Microraptor. Oh, it's an Archaeopteryx. The name is actually written right below. Quite a nice one. You can see the wings are able to flip. You can actually open and close the jaw. You can move the legs, which is awesome. Next, we have a woolly mammoth. Very nice. Yep, and uh, if I'm not wrong, this is actually Manny. I have no idea how we actually got this figure. You know, it looks very cool. Looks very well done, I would say. Okay, we do have a figure from the um, Kung Fu Panda series. Yep, this is Crane. Next up, this should be a Compi. Compi's short form for Compsonators, if I'm not wrong. Let's have a look. Oh, it's actually a Coelophysis. Looks very different. Okay, this is actually from Dino Strike. It's a very, very cool dinosaur figure. You can see it has like plenty of scars on his body. Um, Komodo Dragon. What is this doing here? Yo, you can see there's like a little bite right here. And um, this little holes are actually caused by my, my dog Tutu last time when he was younger. Okay, what is this? We have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Nice one. Our praying mantis right here. This is actually mantis from Kung Fu Panda. Oh, we do have another Manny figure, I think. I think so. Yeah, this is a McDonald's Happy Meal figure. This one looks like a Diplodocus. A long-necked dinosaur with like spikes on his body. I think it should be a Diplodocus. Let's have a look. Yep, it is a Diplodocus. And here we have a... Is this a leopard or a jaguar? I think it's a jaguar, I think so. It doesn't have the name written right below, so we don't exactly know, but I think so. This is an oviraptor, okay? Let's have a look at the next one. Ankylosaurus from Joe World. This is an elef elephant. Um, I think this is from Wano, which is like a Hong Kong brand, and um, it has been with me for many years I think I think we got this since 2015 if I'm not wrong next up um, Velociraptor I think and this is an Okapi okay and here we have a Dilophosaurus yep I think so Dilophosaurus quite a nice one Spinosaurus this one it's easily recognizable and is one of the dinosaurs which are bigger than a T-Rex. You can see this spine right here. Let's try to find more animals. I'm pretty sure we definitely have more animals inside. Okay, here we have... It looks like a T-Rex, I think. So let's have a look. Yeah. Yep, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. What? We have another Komodo Dragon. This one looks very nice, and the condition actually looks way better than the previous one, so... I might consider putting this into my reptiles collection. Maybe, maybe not. Here we have a snake. I have no idea what is the exact species of the, um, this snake right here. It's basically a snake from Kung Fu Panda. And of course, we have a Dilophosaurus right here. A baby Dilophosaurus. Another Dino Strike figure, and this it's a Brachiosaurus. Very nice, very nice one, I'd say. This looks like a fish. I think this is a Mosasaurus, if I'm not wrong. This it's a Pachycephalosaurus, I think so. Let's have a look. Yep, Pachycephalosaurus. This it's a. It looks like a Dimorphodon. I think so. Let's have a look at the name. Not too sure where it is written, but it's definitely written on its um, you know, part of the body. So let's try to find this together. Is it on the wings? The wings? Nope. You can't find any wordings on the wings. Oh, it's right here, guys. Right at this side of the body. It's really, really tiny. So let me just 
Okay, Dimorphodon. Can you guys see that? Yep, the Dimorphodon. Cool. Carnotaurus. Yep, it's one of the dinosaurs with a name which is related to an animal. It is known as a meat eating bull. And here we have a Brachiosaurus, a lime green Brachiosaurus, Styracosaurus, right here, which is a herbivorous dinosaur. Oh, we got this like recently. Uh, yeah, I have no idea like how we actually got this figure. I mean, we got it online and it, it, and it looks like a T-Rex from, um, you know, Jurassic World, I think. Carnotaurus, baby Carnotaurus, and this sculpt is definitely sculpted based on the Carnotaurus from Jurassic World. This is a prehistoric animal, not exactly a dinosaur. If I'm not wrong, this is known as a Scaphonyx. Let's have a look at the name. Yep, it's written right here, Scaphonyx. Okay, it looks like a, you know, very weird. It looks a little bit like a Lytrosaurus. Ermagosaurus, one of the um, pretty famous, I would say, pretty famous sauropod. Sauropod is basically a dinosaur with like long neck, long necks and um, limbs. This one, if I'm not wrong, is a Cordypteryx. Yep, that's right, it's written right here, Cordypteryx. Parasaurolophus, the near-crested lizard. And this one, if I'm not wrong, I don't think it's an Ankylosaurus. It looks more like a Euplocephalus, but let's have a look. Yep, that's right, Euplocephalus, written right below. Pretty nice. This one, more or less, wow, it has two fingers. Um, wow, this is tough. It's not a raptor because it doesn't have the sickle claw, so it's, I would say it's probably a Tyrannosaur. It could be Albertosaurus. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's right. Oh my goodness, I actually got it right. Albertosaurus, awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, nice. We have another animal, finally. An ostrich. Um... I think this is a what hog. I think so. And um, what do you call this? A, a sheep, I guess. Our last figure of the day is actually this Ankylosaurus with a missing leg right here. Okay, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.